Let's go ahead and continue with the project folder itself. Let's work through our parts and pieces here. What we put in on the last video was the models and the prefabs. If we take a look inside of these two folders, we'll notice that we have some folders for the models. These are going to be the objects that were brought in. So this is the, the raw model file, the object file, uh, or the FBX file. Uh, you're going to have the textures and materials just all inside of the same package there. And each one, they're all going to have their setup for it. So if you go in and you see, you'll be able to navigate through and find those. Now the model files are there as the reference to. What we're going to be using is the prefabs. The prefabs are going to allow us to actually uh, just take a more finished piece and drag and drop it into the game and be able to start using it. So whenever we're using the objects, we're always going to be pulling from the prefab folder. So for these, if you notice, uh, we have a lot of the, the pieces set up. We have the, the grass pieces, we've got logs and trees and train carts and trucks and cars and a whole lot of things that will make the, the game feel complete for us when we start to build everything out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and what we want to do next is actually just add the rest of the folders to the Crossy Road project so we have those things ready and in place. Uh, first thing we want to do, let's go back up to the top, right click on Crossy Road and click on Create, go down to Folder. And the folder that we make, let's go ahead and uh, just push Enter here, we'll say New Folder. And let's make a couple of folders, we'll make about three folders here. So just hit, if, with, if you have it selected, just push Control D. Control D is going to make a duplicate. So each time you push Control D, you'll duplicate it. Alright, so if we go up to the top, let's just call our first folder Animations. So we'll have animations, we'll have models, we're going to have prefabs, and then we'll have scenes. So we'll do scenes here. And then after scenes, we'll have something called scripts. Alright, so that's going to give us our folders for that one. Let's do the last one. We're going to call this one plugins. So be sure it's a capital P. And make sure that you place this on the outside of the folder. So structure-wise, what you should have is something that says Crossy Road at the top. And then you have a plugins. Be sure the spelling is correct. Capital P right there. All right. This can be a Unity keyword. It's looking for this. So if it's inside of our projects folder, uh, we'll be able to place plugin uh, uh, elements inside of it. So for instance, we're going to be downloading here in a little bit one called Lean Tween, and that's going to go into the plugins folder. All right. So the rest of them that we have, we have our animations, we have models, prefab scenes, and scripts. All right, so that's going to get us set up for our project. This gives us all the pieces. I think we do have one more here. Let's see. Yeah, so if we go into prefabs, one other thing we want to add to the prefabs folder. If you right click and do create folder, go ahead and call this one grounds. So this will be the, uh, the level elements. So like the grass planes that are going to be copied and pasted across um, elements that we're going to be using for our auto generator, we'll place inside of there. All right, so this can be prefabs. Inside of there is grounds. All right, so your folders should look like this. Be sure you've copied it correctly. We'll, um, and then once you're done with that one, then we'll move on to the next part. 